good evening everyone um, or hello whatever time of the day you uh, watch these videos and engage with them it's Monday the 7th of December and it's time to light our seventh advent candle Just to say everyone, I've been absolutely overwhelmed by your messages of support on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. Um, it's wonderful to know that so many of you are engaging with these videos and that you're finding them really helpful. Today's reading is Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 21. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. I've been researching uh, my family tree, and like pretty much every family, uh, we definitely have some colourful characters. In Essex, where I used to live, we would call them dodgy geezers or dodgy characters. And we have plenty of them in our family people who always seem to be in trouble uh, or bring an embarrassment to the family through their actions. Jesus had dodgy people in his family tree as well. In fact, he had lots of them. When we read the genealogy in Matthew chapter 1, we see that there are prostitutes, adulterers, murderers and idol worshippers. It's a surprising family tree for the saviour of the world. And then there's Mary, uh, Jesus' own mother, pregnant before she was married. A stigma in any society, one punishable by death in Israel at the time. And we know that Joseph was embarrassed initially when he found out because he had in mind to leave her quietly. But God intervenes and reveals the unlikely truth to Joseph. But what about the rest of her family? What about the rest of her friends and her village? Do you know, it's really probable that Jesus walked under a cloud of shame all of his life because of the virgin conception. No one would ever believe that, would they? In their minds, Mary and Jesus himself would always be dodgy. But Jesus seems to be okay with that. In fact, dodgy characters are exactly the sort of people that Jesus came for. Jesus came from a family tree with lots of broken branches. A family tree like yours and like mine. Every one of us has done things that are dodgy, things that we wouldn't want anyone else to know about. But thank God for the perfect Lamb of God who came to save dodgy characters like you and like me. I wonder, is there a colourful character in your family? Jesus came for them too. Why not this evening or as you engage and wait for your candle to burn down? Why not commit to praying for them, that they would know God's love, his forgiveness and his hope and acceptance this Christmas time? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to our world as a vulnerable baby at Christmas in order to save colourful characters like me. Jesus, will you help me to reach out to others with your love and your forgiveness so that they too can know your salvation. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>